Yeah. I guess. I mean, what, what are they really trying to influence here? Is it? Yeah, they do pick that terror blade. Okay, I like that from Horizon. Um, Dodge bounty. <laughs> okay. I can see it working for sure. You know, again, like you said, that one point ick of that as well. To he's about fifteen hundred behind, and they're gonna US. try and kill him now. He TB back in the lane, and with Zephyr here, bottom he as well, should go down probably. I mean, it's a huge kill. I'll be able to get Mercy down bottom and gun. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Can't even make it on the high gun thanks to the body blocks from Zephyr. One more use of the Janata, or your gold and all your life taken care of. And on that bottom side is a Why not? Take and out the squishy uh, hero. How much is Ponyo going to take from this? Yeah, he's basically going to get two hit with these Janatas. Janata, yeah. Uh, sorry, he's got Arcane as well, so he can yep. just spam out the Janata even faster. Come back here! Give me your gold! <laughs> oh no. Uh, do it? Oh, oh. Nice. oh, he still had a little bit of the Arcane left. It just expired on that previous Janata hit. <laughs> Oh, he's got Vanguard Radiant queued up. Oh my god. It's oh, not no, good no, for the Bounty no. Hunter, but I really like the new um, Crimson Guard as well. Got Blaine X Nova. It's going to look to wrap around. Should be able to get the kill into Ponyo. God King. I mean, the Nova Sunder was just used, so that was why he wasn't blown up to the Beastmaster. And now he's going to be chased down. Nothing that Yopage has to fear. Yeah. I don't know if you can protect him. Your Paj has a DD, so yeah, they'll cancel Mercy's TP, but Ponyo, unfortunately, no, he didn't know the bounty was coming, so he felt required to try and protect his carry. Meanwhile, Natsumi's okay. Like, there's nothing that the TA has to fear at the moment. In fact, Your Paj, he's even got a TP bottom, so... Hello, Garn. Hello, Mercy. More See you, Mercy. Jesus Christ. DD, bro. Oh, my God. Dyer's top tower is under attack. You can just stay here. What's stopping him? They know that there's no uh, vision because they just placed down a sentry of their own. <laughs> oh no. At least they should be able to deal with the refraction. Pomero is going to be a bit of an issue now. With that level 6 from WS has got a bit more damage to pump out as well. So they'll get the kill to Natsumi. Can Yopage do it by himself or does he need some assistance? We'll see. With the Vanguard, I think he can. Really don't care about those visage familiars at all. Dude, come to oh. me. I was about to say he might look to go for the D ward instead, but he just runs into three of them. You, you gotta riff someone. These are all three kills if he gets a plus one. In fact, Yopaj might just give a decent chunk of gold over, or he might just slither away. <laughs> oh no. Dyer's top it's a bit of a feels bad top. moment to have, uh, what is that, two and a half times the primal's net worth at 10 minutes in? He's not even left. <laughs> Oh, they can lock off WS here as well. Won't even be able to get... No, oh, we'll be able to get oh. out into that little oh, box. Got the glimpse available. They're going to go for Ponyo. Okay, no matter. Oh, okay. So, this Horizon lineup needs to play fast. You, you're Radiant's going for a, a Visage Marcy. Like, you take objectives very, very early. You want to get map control. So, the fact that you're 8,000 gold behind... I mean, Radiant anyone 8,000 gold behind, I should say, 10 minutes in, it... It game is pretty much over. But this one in particular, your lineup thrives on being able to win early on. So that's just another thing that is not looking good. I mean, I could probably check the dat Dota of like what the uh, the percent because of how fast you're able to play with some of these mid laners these days because of all of that rotation potential. See you later, my on you. Yo, come on. Concerned for them just taking away I was about to say some of these auras, but doesn't even seem like WS is going for them. Double Null Talisman with a Tranquil Boots. Maybe he's looking to... Oh. All right, Zephyr's going to drop the Echo Slam here for Garn. Mercy's going to try and get evolved here with the Unleash. Should be able to secure the kill, but X Nova as well is looking for the finishing blow. Won't be able to find it. X Nova drag back. Still, Yopaj is looking to hang around, though, to provide some assistance. God, like here for the Bounty Hunter. 14 That's minutes on. into the game. Might even go for Mercy as well. What's going to stop him? Be able to get the stun. Janata up in a couple of seconds. And that'll result in another kill. And meanwhile, across the map, FBZ got a solo kill as well onto God King's Terrorblade. Oof. 
And that's just with the Vlads and the Helm of the Dominator. Of course, Wild Axes, plenty of magic damage. Reduce the mana from Wild Axes? Mm-hmm. Feels even better now. Is he a universal hero as well? I think he might be. I believe so. Oh, oh hang on, your is just a big kill. It's a lot of, oh, they're not gonna get him. Glimpse back. Forward Mercy goes and there. Oh, it's a huge streak that WS is gonna be able to find, but they had to commit so much and in return, boom. Consider about chasing down some of the other members of Horizon, but just weren't able to catch up to them. I mean, off those previous kills though, with the track, of course, your opponent was still able to buy up that Radius. God can run, my friend. Sure. Did they block him? Okay, it doesn't matter. Mercy's able to chuck him on over. Regardless, though, kind of sends her attention away from defending the T2 tower as Yopaj easily dispatches upon Yo's life. Just a couple of swipes. All gold for him as well. And they're pinging out high ground. They're ready to go. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Still 10%, Mr. Fortified. Gaben says. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't like know either. No, it's hard. <laughs> You're like, like, what do you, what do, you do? Take 10 minutes. What do you, yeah, you like, know your, your little saying about, you know, net worth lead and minutes into the game and how that ends up working. Oh, they've ticked Ooh. over. Yeah, the dino is uh, behind the position 5 Enchantress and about to be behind the other support. Bottom lane, WS, Zephyr. Got a glimpse of him. Going to be forced to drop the Echo just to try and cancel out that TP. No one else is coming down because they're fighting top lane instead. We'll still lose the first slide, but it's enough time for Radiant to start to rotate down to bottom as Natsumi's no, going to jump over the top. A couple of clicks and they'll kill off the Terror Blade. Mercy's going to follow very shortly afterwards. They're just sweeping across the map. There really isn't anything that Horizon can do about this. They've just allowed this bounty hunter to get too much space on the map to get far too far ahead. Yeah, I mean, has he got, he got the BKB coming out to him now on the bounty? Yes, he does. Even a Blink Dagger as well for Earthshaker. So they're hitting these timings as well while playing aggressively. They haven't left this side of the map outside of Natsumi for quite some time. I mean, they could take the uh, the Obelisk, the, the Tormentors, Tormentor. if they want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... I <laughs> Uh, what, do you, what do you say, dude? It's a 20... Yeah, that, that, thank you. You thank don't even you. fight it in this high ground. That's what you say. I appreciate it. They just... They're like, couple couple letters is all that needs to be said. Drop the Gs and go to next. This game one didn't work out. FBZ all smiles. A little bit more business-like from, from Zephyr and Nova, but, uh, I mean, to me, I want to see the Yopaj cam. He should have the biggest smile on his face after that one because he was just... It was everywhere. He, he just let them have a huge buff with how quickly you're able to pick it up. Okay. And if you're playing it as a if... five, if you're taking that, uh, that talk. Oh, what goes on with us? Stop playing it. Mercy. Mercy. Well, this should be the one giving over first blood as another range from afar secures a four Natsumi. I don't know what happens, man, but for some reason we get... So, this is the Yopage that we were seeing last time around. He was looking to rush into something like the Vanguard, but not this game, you would imagine. Oh. Level three, that's to be picked up as well for, uh, for Zephyr. That's just going to enable them to once again go for an aggressive movement forward. Assuming he's going to just... The timing is that he's going to look to make a move around this uh, noxious plague, though, on Garn. Like, do the other heroes feel like they're ready to go for a tower push? Do they feel like they're able to respond if uh, the Venomancer just gets off all of his spells at the start of these fights? That's the main question for me. And Bounty Hunter, he's good at dominating the lane in a lot of ways, but he is not good at pushing it out, especially against someone like that Venomancer who tosses the play get onto him. It's going to force Yopage to TP all the way back to base and barely able to survive that one as well. I blame Natsumi. Can we able to get the finishing blow? Love this a little bit of health back as well. He's got some range ups to play with. Zephyr's going to hold down WS for the moment. And great use of that healing Lotus for Natsumi was just an up at all Ponyo. Look at this. He comes in through the rift. They weren't aware of it. Natsumi, they'll trade the lives. Bit of a streak's going to go to away the WS though. But very nice read from, uh, from Ponyo that he can enter the rift and look for that plus one play. Picking out the Venomancer a little bit, but he's done his job. You know, he used the Siege Creek Wave, he tanked up a few of those tower hits. Bottom lane. Go, like, 
back into your Paj. Ooh. Your Paj just hit up onto his level 6 at least, so he's going to be able to make a lot of these moves happen. Noxious Plague has quite a long cooldown, 2 minutes, so won't be able to use it immediately after the fact, but really feels to me like he's going to want to set himself up in front of all of these uh, these eventual tower pushes. Man, your Paj got down to basically 0 off the back of that. He picks up a haste and might be able to make a move top with the track. No vision placed down as yet for Horizon. Sentries could catch him out, but... Oh, FPG is falling pretty low. And they should be able to get the kill off the back of this. No, even Mercy's going to try and move in with the shackles. It'll help them get some distance away. Still, they're going to be able to get the kill with the extra support playing bottom. X Nova. No, oh my lord. So close to bringing down God King, but it's just not going to be enough. And... I mean, these Rifts, man, Horizon, they're making great use out of them in the second game. I'm also wondering what sort of item build he's looking to go for. He's building into an Oblivion Staff, so maybe considering something like that Mage Slayer. Oh, WS. See if he's going to be in some trouble. He need some extra control to allow Natsuma to get the raises out. Ponyo's going to try and turn it around off the back of the freezing field. It's a lot of damage. But now with the X-Nova nearby, he's going to be able to mitigate some of the Venomancer's effectiveness, and that can enable them to get another track kill. So, I mean, FPC is even TP top as well. They'd love Garn. Be a little bit more difficult for them to chase him down with the boots of travel. It is daytime, though, so they'll lose that extra movement speed. But you also Pop have the shield, shield, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Like nice new color, thing. gunmetal gray. That's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Deno's going no. straight for that Ags as well, after the Bassy Ring. Going to be able to move around the map so easily with this Boots of Travel as well. Oh god, can you... Can you get the TPR? Zephyr? Oh, wow, just a little bit too slow. Zephyr's still holding onto that token. There we go. Now he looks to skill it up. Picks the Arcane Ring for himself. So the one thing that I'm also looking at, it, this is only if it gets really late. Wait, what? What are we wanting about? Why do they have two arcane rings? So, because you can choose. You can have two of one though. Yeah, okay. but you can't. Okay, you can't trade them. Yeah, at all. you can't. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't know you could. Okay. My bad. Sorry. Um, what, how would that work if you get like five telescopes? You know, <laughs> does that just increase your range massively? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I did, yeah, all right. I Everyone know. gets a cloak of flames. It's just an inferno. Uh, so the thing <laughs> that I was talking about was if X Nova can get into this Aghanim Scepter for himself, look at what it does now. It gives 0.25 reduced base attack time. Imagine giving that over to a Shadow Fiend in the middle of some of these big fights. The man is just going to go ham. I wonder, I, I guess you'd be able to get that farm with the, the shard if they get it from the Tormentor, right? So Of course, so it does reduce a lot of the stuff that they're going to be launching out at them. A little bit of back and forth. Yopaj should be able to get the kill, though. So some extra gold. I think uh, WS was even smoked as well. Mercy actually to the bottom side. They're onto FBZ. Should be able to secure the kill with the Pierce of the Veil. Although x is in a pretty good position to protect FBZ. They might look to turn it back around now with the ultimate expiring God King. He's in some trouble. Mercy's still making it a bit more of a nuisance, but Yopage here's going to TP into the Rift. So extra gold, and they should be able to track down Mercy as well. Beautifully done from Boom, making sure they bring more than enough members to get these skills across the map. Exodus positioning has been real solid so far this game. He was able to get the, the last hit onto the Muerta, but being around just for those two track kills, nets him. 1700 gold that he's holding on to at this point in time. I wonder what he's going to go for. Like, does he look to opt towards the Reign of Destiny? I really wouldn't hate it. This doesn't seem like a team that wants to go Aghanim Shard, and I think you'd be very happy with giving the... Oh um... This is a big kill. Yopai's going to get a little bit of revenge for how rough that lane went. He was able to cast his ultimate before death. I see Ponyo as well. And... 
Is he going to try and turn around to get the track? Not going to be the case. So it's just going to be up to FBZ to try and chase him down. But he's got the Greaves to get rid of the Frostbite. So he'll make quick work of the Crystal Maiden as well. And this game, uh, this night time for Boom, the past two minutes, they've just completely blown open this network lead. It's up to 5,000 now. And it was very even for the first 15 minutes beforehand. Bottom lane. I assume he was trying to charge up the Requiem in the tree line, but... I just want the BKB to come out to himself first before he makes any sort of attempt like that. Maybe trying to force some sort of dead shot out of uh, God King. I was thinking maybe FBZ with the Venno dead and with them being able to get that kill onto the CM might have just popped the Exo and looked to take mid tower. But I think Venno only had about 20 seconds left on that death timer as well as Exo. But just trying to protect Zephyr for now. Again, a lot of the damage coming through from Horizon is uh, magical. So... And just that Fates Edict is going to do so much against this. This is a really nice last big oracle. Looks like he's gone into the Glimmer Cape instead for himself. WS might be in some trouble. I don't know if they need to bring more members. Ooh, FBZ fills over the Exo committed. It's a second level of the Exo as well. Gonna cut That's through, done. but he's not going to find the angle. Beautifully done. The stun at the last second. They need to go back to protect their support. But X Nova, he can get the abilities off to keep him alive, cuts away the wards, and he's out of track. danger when Ponyo, well, he is not Yopage. Rough start, but it doesn't matter. Triple kill there for the bounty hunter. They're looking to go into Roche, off us down. And try and force him away, but FBZ, he just locks in on top of him. There's no TPs as well for him to be able to make his escape. Wait, actually, Janata. Archie <laughs> Yopaj. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Radiant yeah, it does, does matter. A second in that dude is 8, 1, and 5. 53 last hits. Who needs the last hit though, right? When you got track. Exactly. And this is uh scary because you've got the 15 talent with the presence and you also have this extra buff to the presence of the dark lord where if you get kills it further reduces the armor reduction by two for 20 seconds so they could get a lot of objectives off the back of this ages did he need that did he just need an additional buff to his passive i don't think he needed it <laughs> i guess they nerfed his laning a little bit with the turn rate but Still feels plenty strong. But you see that they are still going to respect the uh, wherever the Venomancer is set up, cannot go there. We just need to look to separate, and I mean, they <laughs> will hopefully be able to take this. Who ended up getting it? Uh, CM, lovely. One of the better ones. I mean, yeah, <laughs> sure. But really would have loved to give that over to Venno, I guess, would be the number one, just for that latent toxicity. You, again, you know you're going up against these BKBs, so that's going to give a lot of value, but he needs to get into that Agon Interceptor ASAP. Actually, this is Desolator now completed. I don't know if you can go that far forward without a blink, my guy. Got a lot of heroes running at you. They're looking pretty healthy right now on Boom. Fortunately for Exnova, wasn't able to save the Ogre Magi, but I mean, he was standing underneath the entirety of a freezing field duration, so kind of understandable as to why we're even going to luck out with a regen rune in the top lane. And Yopage, just more things that are going to be able to get dispels off, right? You've already got a uh, an Oracle to do it. You've got the Greaves, and he's gone into a Satanic after this. All right, Gun is going to have his Aghanims now after this group Radiance wave. top tower is under so, attack. So, you know, little bonuses coming through. They end up smoking, but man's tracked. So, they don't know about this. So, let's see. I want to see how this Poison Nova works. Radiance top tower is under attack. See if we're going to really get a fair 5-on-5 five five where we can get the... Potential full look at it. Yeah, where he is. Again, he's tracked, so they know where the Venomancer is set up. He's been very careful with his positioning as well as that's <laughs> walks back into his team as that poison nova launches out. Yeah, you're down two lanes now. Did we expect anything less from Boom though? No. Uh, it was uh, a definitely slower start to the second game though, but still the result is the same nonetheless. You've got Yopash second in net worth. The, the net worth lead is almost higher than the minute mark. So they're going to look at the And yeah, they did everything they needed to for the lane, right? What the f... Moted out of Division 2, and they're going to go back straight away 
in Division One. Of course, a place where they belong. Yes, they had a very rough previous tour. And honestly, they deserve to be down here with how poorly they perform, but they have made amends. They obliterated every single team they have ran into so far in this tour and a big reason why they are yet to lose a map and yet to lose a series.